at least a dozen blasts, highly coordinated and indiscriminate. Iraqis waiting at a bus stop were among the dead. Police and soldiers, labourers on their way to work. The blast happened suddenly. One of the people sitting beside me was seriously hurt because of shrapnel. My assistant was also wounded. He was taken to the hospital. Police say the first blast went off at a small restaurant here in Baghdad's Mashtal district. Just minutes later, workers were killed by a roadside bomb in New Baghdad. And then, over two hours, more blasts in Mashtal, Sadr City, Hausaniya, Zafarniya, north and central Baghdad, Shula and Tarmiya. Two bombs also went off outside the city in Taji and Iskandriya. So many people were hurt. What have those innocent people done to deserve this? People come here to work. It's 10 years to the day that the US-led coalition began its invasion of Iraq. At this hour, American and coalition forces are in the early stages of military operations to disarm Iraq, to free its people, and to defend the world from grave danger. The justification to depose Saddam Hussein and to seek out weapons of mass destruction. There were none. And 10 years after those initial attacks, Iraq still struggles with sectarian conflict and political instability. This latest wave of bomb attacks has also left its mark on the political landscape. Iraq's cabinet has postponed important provincial elections in two provinces, Anbar and Nineveh. Both areas have been the scene of heated Sunni protests. The carnage may have overshadowed commemorations, but bomb attacks, assassinations, violence like this is still almost a daily occurrence. Evidence that fighters are able to take advantage of long-term political instability to strike whomever and wherever they wish. Miriam Nohond, Al Jazeera.